I went and saw Clank yesterday. And guess what? I liked it! It deserves a... It's peanut butter jelly time! Peanut butter it jelly deserves time. a peanut butter jelly time! It deserves Clank review time! Clank! Peanut butter jelly! I liked it, y'all. I tell you, I was skeptical of going into this because I've heard, I heard mixed reviews on it. I did. I heard some people, oh, biggest flop, terrible, this and that. I didn't like it, blah, 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 blah. And I was nervous going into it. I was like, I don't know if I want to see it now. All this people was talking about. And then I had, the, people were asking me, did you go see it? Did you make a review on it? And I was like, I don't know. I heard bad stuff. And they were like, no, go see it. Get your own opinions. I liked it, but so I was like, okay, I'm going to go in there. Although I still had it in the back of my mind, like, I don't know. I hope this isn't bad. Like I keep hearing bad stuff about it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Now, maybe I liked it so much because it was a love type story. It was a love type story. Maybe that's why I liked it so much. I'm going to tell y'all at the end, we all came out and there was a lot of couples in there and there, there was this one group that was like a few couples together. So there's like three men, women, the men, like, and I was listening. I was, I was like, what did they got? Cause they started talking about it. And the one, the men were like, oh, I like the costumes and the sets and blah, blah, but I didn't like the story. And the women were like, really? You didn't like the story? I love it. And they were like, no, but I think it's because it's more of a love story. Oh, they, they had action. They had, you know, some good fight scenes and stuff, but I think it was kind of a chick flick, the Bollywood chick flick. That's what I would call it, a Bollywood chick flick. I would call it. So let's talk about it. All right. Started out, the girl's talking about that she got like a year or two to live. She's at the doctor, right? She's married. The, the lady married, Sat, Satye, Satye is her name. Married to uh, a rich guy. I guess he owns a newspaper. The family's well off, all this. So she's going to, she's got like a year to live. Then she goes off. I don't know how she knows this family. Apparently, like, she was like, I need your help. Come live this year with my, you know, I don't have long to live. Come get to know my family and husband. So, basically, she was there to get this girl and the fam the one of the daughters to, like, be her husband's wife. Well, she, she wants her husband to take care of when she's gone. And I was, and, the, and then the dad talked to her, like, because she didn't really want to go. And he was like, well, think of your sisters. So, maybe this is where I'm don't know some of this past, you know, culture stuff. Like, okay, she goes there. I know like they have arranged marriages and stuff like that. But I didn't know what, how that had to do with her sisters. I wasn't like, I was like, what's, what's that got to do with her sisters, her get married? I didn't understand that. But still, I was like, okay, I, this might be some stuff I don't know much about, right? So she's going there and she's like, I'm doing this for my sisters. But she's like, I'm not going to come up in that house and be a mistress. I was like, oh, no, you ain't, girl. Don't do that. She's like, I'm going to get married. So I was like, oh, can, is this like illegal? They can get married like to two women? I didn't even know that. See the stuff I learned watching Bollywood? I guess that's it. I don't know if it's a thing then or maybe it's in the movie. But I was like, oh, I guess they can. So they had this whole ceremony. They got married. She come up and live in the house. And on the wedding night, he comes up in there. And you're like, what's going on? And he tells her, he's like, I'm just, I don't love you. I respect you in my house. I'll have respect for you. But I love my wife. And I'm doing this for her happiness. And I was like, well, that, you being honest. <laughs> you being honest with her. Like, she know, and she, she shouldn't expect you to come up in there and be like, I love, like, y'all didn't even meet. He didn't even see her face. When they got married, they had the veil, you know. And then when he came in the room, her back was towards him. He never seen the face. He never met her till like she goes in into the newspaper thing because the the one the wife wanted uh, the the first sate right and the, and the one he married the young Roop was her name and she comes up in there she's like I'm here to see my husband and she's talking to her husband and she's like I started work today who's your husband she names his name and that's him and that's the first time he sees her <laughs> so I'm like oh this is crazy anyway it gets crazier. Because she only uh, agreed to go work at that newspaper because she wanted to get voice lessons. Because she heard this girl singing up in this bad part of town that they told her, like, oh, we don't go in that part of town. And she's like, well, 
I will start working for the paper if I can go up in this town and get voice lessons from this person. They finally agreed. They had to ask the father-in-law, right? The father-in-law had to prove it. I guess it was his rule, you don't go in this part of town. It's supposed to be the bad part of town. First of all, they go up in that town, and I was like, that's the bad part of town? That town looks fancy. It's got, they, they having festivals, looks beautiful. I'm like, I, I would live in that part of town any day. Look at that part of town. They, it looked beautiful to me. They were having festivals and the blue people coming out the water and they were dancing in the streets and they got the flower bloom. Like, I was like, this is the, this is the bad part of town you're trying to tell me it is. And look at this place. I didn't understand that. I was like, I think the bad part of town, they have like graffiti and all this. Oh no. Like if that's your bad part of town, you really living it up. <laughs> but you kind of think that's the rule of the bad part of town because you find out. You find out the dad done had an affair. Like the wife's gone, right? And, and the son, he lives with the son. That's who's married to the girl dying of cancer and got married to the second one. Anyway, the dad, the father-in-law, you find out don't want to go to part, this part of town because the girl she wants to get singing lessons from to sing, you know, it's an older lady. He had an affair with her. He had an affair with her. And they, and she got pregnant. They had an illegitimate child, Zafar, who's up in this bad part of town, who meets her, right? And he kind of knows, like he, and he's got, like he's, oh, he's got resentment up in his heart for this. But I mean, he wouldn't give him the name. He kind of, the mom, she like kind of abandoned him, you know? And the dad would never like take him. And, and so he's like, he's got some inner scars. He finds out this is like the, the, the daughter-in-law and he like tries to get close to her and all this stuff to like get back at them because he's got that resentment up in his heart. Well, in the process, they kind of fall in love with each other. Oh yeah, she's already, she's married to one girl. They kind of fall in love. She like falls in love. But then he like pushes away because he like, I think that was a surprise to him. He just wanted to use it to get back at them, right? It was a surprise to him. But he starts falling up and he starts pushing away and she's she's like they're just like I love you you know and he won't admit it right he won't admit none of this and so much you got this in the heart he so he works he's a blacksmith and this newspaper that the, the uh, family owns is kind of like for industries coming into town oh he on the slot like even before he met this girl he's starting up a revolution He's starting up a revolution about these industries coming into town and taking the jobs away and this and stuff. And then he started making kind of a religion thing because he was like, it's one religion against like a Muslim religion and they start just clashing like this. So he's already starting his uprising almost. But then he starts getting, you know, starts falling for this girl and starts, I don't know, instead of the resentment in the heart, he starts getting love in his heart, right? because of this girl so the, the the wife dies the one that had cancer she dies which that was oh because you can just tell her their husband loves her and that's good that was like the saddest thing and then he goes in like this depression and even one night he's out at the beach drinking and sad and guess who comes and sees him there Zafar his half-brother not even knowing that he, they're each other's brothers because they never seen each other. They both don't even know. So then, like, they they become like friends <laughs> this night. They go party it up. They dancing in the streets and stuff. And then the father-in-law tells the girl, he's like, you got to take her place. My son hasn't been home, like, in the last few nights, out doing whatever. You got to be like the woman and bring him and find out where he is. And so she goes out. And she finds him dancing with that. So it like hits the, the Safar. Like she gets her, the husband, right? And it's like, come home. Your dad's waiting for him. So Safar's just watching. And he's like, oh, that's my half brother. That's her. One in love with. So it's like a big triangle almost, right? So what happens? The uprising start, Right? The uprising starting, but then also on top of it, like the father-in-law seeing that she's like in love with the Zafar and then the mom 
who is his mom, like they don't want them together and they're trying to push them two away. She's going to visit him telling, telling her like she was the ploy from the beginning and the real truth about the, 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 the darkness up in his heart. Even though it started out that way, but now he's like in love with her, really, right? So the uprising happens. They all man because uh, they published a story up in the newspaper about the industries coming and what it's gonna do. So they're like burning, they burning the newspapers and they're trying to, they killing everybody around and, and down with them. The, the dad done left town. <laughs> the dad's like, this is bad news. We're leaving town. I'm leaving town, come join me. But they still staying. He don't wanna leave and she don't wanna leave because she's in love with this is Zafar. She's like, I'm in love with the city. Da, da. No, she's in love with Zafar. So anyway, this happens. She's by herself there. Where's the? Where's her husband? I don't even remember where he was, but I know they were uprising everywhere. Maybe, oh, he was at the newspaper place. And then Zafar founds out that the mom came and told her the truth. So he like is in the house like one night and he's like, I'm sorry, trying to forgive her. They hug. And she's like, can't you just tell me you love me? And like, they're having a moment, right? Because she really loves him. And uh, so they're having the moment. Then then the people start coming with their, with their torches and coming. So he helps her escape Zafar. He helps her escape. They go to like, they then the husband comes and he's helping them both escape, even though this is a half brother, which he kind of called the uprising anyway, because he had resentment of heart for like the half brother and the family, and uh, he's helping them all, all escape, I guess, because he loves her. And then they first go to where his mom is, up at, at you know the mom with the illegitimate his mom, and she's like, no, they they come in in every household. They're getting people. Y'all gotta go bring them to the train station. Y'all get out of here. So they go up in the train station. And everybody's trying to get up on this train. But here comes all the people wanting to, with the torches and all this stuff. And they trying to fight everybody up on the train, trying to kill them. So they get like him on the train, them two on the train. He's like, hold on. And, and Zafar stays and like start, starts fighting them off. And the train starts taking off. And, and uh, the train is taking off. And, and she's like outside the door. And the husband's holding her hand because she almost fell. And she's like, Zafar! run like she just keeps saying run 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 and he's like trying to run and he's running and then they slash him and he falls and then he sees her again and he's like come going back and running 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 and then the guy who was his friend at the blacksmith place which i really didn't talk about kills him and it's sad because she starts crying he's like on the ground like so now like her, the one she was in love with died, right? And then the husband, her husband, who had the first wife, like he was in love with, they died. So now the loves of their life are both dead, that they're still married. And that's kind of like where it left off. Like they both like know they lost their loves. So we, it's kind of like at the end, like, wow, we lost our loves. Like they're both dreaming about them. But then they stay together because they have like that respect, I guess, for each other. So yeah, I mean, the ending, I can see maybe the people don't like the ending. Because you're just like, what? It was kind of sad. Like, they, nobody's happy and they just kind of like, the, the people, the, the ones they love died and then they stayed together. Maybe maybe that's why people like the ending. But this is why I like Bollywood because it's not expected. Usually, you're like, oh, a happy ending and they, and they fall in love and they go off and this. No. Their loves died and they ended up together. Now, let me tell you something I really loved about this movie. Yeah, the costumes. The costumes were gorgeous. Loved everything. Like, I was like, I want to fill my, my closet up with the stuff that they're wearing. The girls are wearing. They're beautiful. And even the men. And the backgrounds and the sets. Oh, it, like what those guys were talking about. Beautiful. Even they're supposed to be the bad part of town. Beautiful. When they're having the festival and the blue people's coming out the water and they're doing this and they're doing stuff on the ropes. All gorgeous. I couldn't, like, you can't take your eyes off the screen just from the beauty of it. Just from the beauty of it. So I'm telling y'all, I know y'all was wanting to hate on this. 
Maybe you don't like how the ending is. Maybe you don't like that it's a love movie and you wanted to see more fighting. But I liked it. I mean, I would give it, I would give it, I could do a number scale. I like to do a letter scale. I was going to say like B minus, but I don't know if you know like A, B, C, how they do grades. So let's give it a number scale. I would give it a 3.5 out of 5. I mean, there's some stuff like I thought was like, ah, uh, a little parts here and there. I'm just like, eh, eh, like just some of the plot parts. But overall, maybe I even give it a four. Like, I will give it a four, maybe 3.75. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I thought it was good. Overall, I enjoyed it. I mean, it was three hours. That's long for like a, a movie here in the States, right? That's like long. I know that's that's like a normal length for Bollywood, but it's a long movie for us. And I was like into it the whole time. I enjoyed it. I didn't find any parts to be boring. So yeah, right here. Thumbs up for me. All right, y'all. If y'all watched it, let me know. Comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.